welcome to Cooking for Weebs and today we're making the bento box from Kaguya-sama, Love is War. It's a fun show about two characters that refuse to confess their love for each other. And I'm telling you, it takes well over a hundred chapters for that to even happen. Anyways, in the first episode of the anime, our main character brings out his delicious looking homemade lunch. Shirogane's lunch is super cute and of course our favorite character, Chika wants a taste, and Kaguya wants a bite too, but her pride won't let her. So today, I will teach you how to make the same lunch and maybe help you impress your crush. So this is a pretty hefty episode, so here are the time codes for the different parts. We're going to start with this juicy hamburger, and the recipe will be a classic Japanese diner recipe. For the burgers, you're going to need ground beef, an egg, some milk, some panko breadcrumbs, and also some finely diced onions. Uh, I've already shown you how to do it. Watch the video right here. <laughs> and for the sauce, we're going to need Worcestershire, no one can pronounce that, and ketchup. We're going to start by sweating out our onions, and then dump in your onions. We don't need this to be fully cooked or anything, just enough so it sweats out and it turns translucent. Now that the onions are nice and sweaty, like me watching anime in public, we can take it off the heat. Okay. For the burgers, we're going to start by putting one egg in a large bowl. And then about a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay, so that should be enough. And then a few tablespoons of milk. I'm using almond milk, but regular milk should be the best. And this is going to bind your whole burger together. Now we're going to put about a pound of ground beef. Shove that all in. Oh. Lastly, we're going to add all of our sweated onions, our cooked onions. Okay, you want to mix it until it's very well mixed. Forgot the salt and pepper. So this is to taste, but you should add a little bit of salt and pepper. It can be a little more generous than a little bit. This is a burger patty and it will take quite a bit of salt. When it's nice and well mixed, we're ready to form them into patties. So we want to make the patties not too large or not too small. Think very large meatball size. So just like a nice handful like that. This is a good size. And what you want to do is just kind of toss it between your two hands. I learned this from Cooking Mama. If you remember that patty tossing game, into a cute little patty and put that back in your bowl. Kind of pack it like a snowball. So that snowball made of meat. So if a snowman throws a snowball, is it throwing its own flesh? Okay. Okay, and we're just gonna give them a nice little flatten with a spatula. Now we'll just let them cook for a few minutes until it's browned on one side and then we'll give it a flip. As it's cooking on one side, we're going to add a little bit more salt because it can take it and salt is tasty. Now as it's cooking, we're just going to slap a lid on and let it steam up. So now these are fully cooked on the inside. And you can see all this juice that came out. Oh no, right? We're going to turn this into a nice sauce. And then to that, we're going to add like three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and about three tablespoons of ketchup. I'm just going to mix that all up and let the burgers kind of soak in that tangy flavor. Okay, so I took the burgers out because I didn't want them to overcook but we're gonna let this reduce a little bit more until it's able to coat the back of the spoon. 
Next, we'll make the rolled omelette or tamagoyaki. For the tamagoyaki, we need three eggs, sugar, dashi powder, sake, and soy sauce. In a mixing bowl, we're going to put three teaspoons of water. Okay, to this water, we're going to add our dashi powder and that will make our nice dashi stock. So now we have our dashi made. We're going to add our two teaspoons of sugar and one teaspoon of soy sauce, another one teaspoon of sake. Okay, so mix that up and that's going to be your seasoning mix for your tamagoyaki. Next, we're going to crack in three eggs and mix that up too. Now we're just going to whisk up our whole egg mixture. Okay, so we want to heat up a pan to medium-high heat. You can feel it's pretty warm. And have a little container of some neutral oil on the side. Okay, what we're going to do is use a paper towel dipped in the oil and then that's how you're gonna grease the pan. So it's gonna be light, not too much oil, but enough oil to cover your non-stick. First, you have to pour a very thin layer to cover the bottom of your pan. So it doesn't need to be fully cooked, as long as you can see it's set, it's time to start rolling. This is your base layer, you don't need to be too pretty with it. Just roll it up. Okay, so you have one roll done. Let's get yourself a little bit more oil. Here's your second roll, looking good. Okay, this boy is getting thick. Now we're down to our last layer. A proper tamagoyaki would have like a press and then you press it down, but this one might be a little loose, but it'll be fine. It will stick together because we didn't overcook the eggs. And there you go. You can let it brown or you can just turn off the heat and that'll be ready to slice. So we have our gorgeous egg log here. Let's dump that out and cut it into slices. First, you can just trim off the ends, doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna cut them into pretty thick, about two centimeter slices. Okay, let's give the end piece a taste. Mmm, that's so good. Here is our nice rolled omelet. Look at the layers. Now set that aside and we'll work on our next thing. Okay, now let's make some octopus shaped wieners. This one's pretty easy. Just get a pack of wieners. Cut that bad boy up. So we have our wieners here. What we want to do is first cut it in half. And then for the tentacles, we're going to cut it halfway from the half. So a quarter down right through the middle one way. And then the other way, we're going to do the same thing. And then when that cooks, it's supposed to flare up and turn into tentacles. I hope it turns out super kawaii. So we're going to heat up the pan again, and then just add a touch of oil, and in goes all the wieners. Oh no, and just let them cook on it in a little bit. Okay, so our sausage is almost done. I've been rotating them constantly. And you see if you stand them up like that, it looks like an octopus. Wow, kawaii. So it looks like his lunchbox also has some boiled veggies and we see there's carrots. So we're just gonna boil some carrot coins and he also has something that looks like mushrooms and snow peas. So we'll put those in to boil too. We're going to cut the carrots into flower shapes. 
So just cut off some of the edges until you get nice rounded petals. Take a bento box and put a little cupcake holder in a corner and put your veggies in there. Next, put a lettuce leaf on the side and add your octopus shaped wieners. And do the same and add your tamagoyaki. Now add your burgers in front of that. So for the octopus, they have these little black dots as eyes and we're going to use tiny bits of seaweed just to make them a little cuter. In the picture, it seems like the burgers have a little bit of sauce, so we're going to add a little more ketchup. In the other compartment of your bento box, add your rice. To top off your rice, we're going to need some umeboshi plums. They're salted, very sour Japanese plums, but we're going to cut off the flesh and pile a little pile on top of the rice. And here's your finished product. So here is your super cute bento box and you can bring this to lunch and press your crush. I'm going to take this to work tomorrow. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all later. Yeah,